I'm CBS 4's George Estevez bringing you the stories that are good for you, and this story is in motion with a South Florida woman who is on a new mission, and what is that? To raise money for research. Excellent. What kind of research is she talking about, and how you can help too? Florida woman yeah. paralyzed oh, yeah. for more than a decade is reaching a milestone this week. She's not walking, but she is taking the first steps to making that possible for her and for so many others. CBS 4's George Estevez shows you what makes this young woman such an inspiration as we continue our commitment to bring you stories that are good for you. I love life, and I love finding humor in life, and I like making people laugh. Sabrina Cohen is a bright light amidst a dark reality. The other car lost control and hit the car that I was in, and we hit a parked car and it slammed into a tree. I was only 14 when it happened. No seatbelt. Her life changed. Within a second, I became a quadriplegic and paralyzed from the neck down. Now Sabrina's opening doors for so many. Once an average teenager, oh, now goodness. an outspoken advocate. She's the most dynamic uh, woman I've ever met. I was gonna pop a wheelie. Alongside her boyfriend and fellow advocate, Robert, they've taken the fight to Washington. For me, she took me by storm, and I'm just traveling along in the storm. So I used the special mouse. In the center, the Sabrina Cohen Foundation, which has raised more than $100,000 for stem cell research. And next week, a first. Sabrina is presenting a $25,000 grant to Dr. Hans Kirstein from California for more research. George Bush led ideology and not science guy his decision making. Sabrina's work has gotten the attention of Michael J. Fox, who visited her at her home in South Florida. Sitting next to him and seeing what he's going through, it humbles me and, and it, it, it encourages me that we're working in the same direction. It was. So, armed with hope, Sabrina keeps moving toward her goal. Just going back to your first question about laughing and smiling and living your life, um, I do the best that I can and I keep a smile on my face and I'm optimistic, um, but it's still a hard life mm. lifestyle to live with. And what a great smile. You know, when I asked Sabrina if she will ever walk again, she paused, she said, yes, she plans on it. She wouldn't say when though. If you want to help her live out her dream, go to cbs4.com. I'm going to link you to her foundation, which is handing out that grant next weekend at a fundraiser on Miami Beach, which you can pay to attend. If you have a story idea, by the way, that fits our commitment to bring you the stories that are good for you, you can email us. Email me directly, jestevez at cbs.com, or find me on Facebook. She is amazing. Go so Sabrina. young and accomplished so much. What a great attitude. What a great inspiration. So young, too. Yeah. 14 years old when she got into that crash, yeah. and now 16 years in a wheelchair. She's going strong doing this stuff. It's amazing. Wow. Just 31. Thanks, George.